I started seeing results in the gym once I finally did this. Before I get into it, let me just say hello, hi, my name is Brooke, and I am your new gym bestie. So, I didn't start seeing results until I started training my mind just as much, if not more, than I started training my body. What does that mean, Brooke? It means that I put so much pressure on what I wanted my body to look like. I would over-exercise, I would under-eat, or I'd be hyper-focused on what I ate and how I exercised that I didn't take into consideration how I actually felt. Was I actually enjoying my workout? Was I just training myself so hard because I hated how I looked? And doing all of that just hindered my results because I was doing it out of hatred for myself and for my body. Once I started enjoying actually the feeling of working out and enjoying actually truly living healthy, that's when I started seeing results. Train your mind and your body will follow. Girl, that ass is about to be popping. After years of trial and error on my own body, I found the best exercise to grow your glutes. First, everyone was doing sumo deadlifts and then hip thrusts, but the best one is actually split squats. Hello, my darlings. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day to Grow a Booty and Still Maintain a Snatched Waist. So I started off the morning with my classic iced oat milk latte. It's so damn good, no sweetener. For breakfast, I had an English muffin with butter and then some scrambled eggs with no dairy. Not too long after, your girl was still hungry, so I made myself a smoothie bowl with granola and cacao nibs. Then for lunch, I had a couple different variations of like Mediterranean salads and then some garbanzo beans. And to get some more protein, I had one of my favorite go-tos, which is rice cake, tuna salad, and then some sprouts on top, and it hits different every time, bitch. And then for dinner, I had my chicken drumsticks, my favorite Brussels sprouts ever with a balsamic glaze, and then rice. Like I said before, I always kind of keep it a protein, a veggie, and a grain. And then to finish off my night, I had some popcorn and a glass of wine. And then before bed, I had a shot of vitamin C. And then you guys already know the sea moss that I swear by. It's literally cleared up my skin so much. And you can just like tell a difference with how your muscles are growing and how they feel too. So I highly recommend. Also, darlings, I was drinking water throughout the entire day. I normally fill up a giant water bottle and drink that twice. And just remember, everybody's completely different, so everybody has their own ways of doing their food, but this is just what I personally eat in a day. Mwah! Love you guys. If you're looking for some quick, easy, high-protein snacks, then stop scrolling. This video is for you. Now, this video is for the girlies on the go who want the gains, who want to grow the booty. Okay, this isn't like sit down, healthy, whole foods. Okay, so I don't want to hear, it's processed. It's okay. These are quick, easy, on the go. Okay? <laughs> okay, now I've talked about this before, but this is just really quick and easy. Some turkey jerky. They have different flavors, 11 grams of protein per serving. Okay, these turkey sticks, I've talked about these before too because they're just a staple. You can literally eat them like while you're driving or doing anything. 9 grams of protein per serving. This yogurt is great, 25 grams of protein and they have a ton of different flavors. You can give this a target. Okay, now I do not like Fairlife. I do not like the way they treat their cows. However, if you are on a big booty mission, a gains mission, 42 grams of protein. Like, what? These are like the best tasting protein bars to me. They have a ton of different flavors, 20 grams of protein. Now, like I said, these are snacks, quick, easy on the go, okay? So here are some chips that are barbecue flavored. They're really good, 10 grams of protein per serving, low carb, low fat. Here's another option if they don't have those at your store. Here's another brand. These are more like crisps that are really good, 10 grams of protein per serving. I'm sure you've seen this before. They have a bunch of different like options. Here's one, 15 grams of protein. So quick, so easy, like kind of like a little tiny charcuterie board <laughs> okay and i don't know why no one's talking about these i didn't even know these existed until the other day but these uncrustables that are like little turkey roll-ups that have cheese and like other stuff in there but i mean 10 grams of protein per little thing yum <laughs> okay last one i know we're mixed on the tuna some people love it some people hate it but hear me out only 260 calories and 19 grams that is protein and look how cute lunch to go you get the little crackers you get the tuna there's even a spoon in there and it has the little like mayonnaise and whatever in there you can mix it all up easy peasy delicious okay i hope this was helpful let me know if you want more i can make vegan versions gluten-free versions, dairy-free versions just let me know 
Here are five different foods that I ate that are high in protein that helped me go from this to this. Disclaimer, in order to grow any sort of muscle, you need to be eating in a calorie surplus. Every single day, I would use some sort of protein supplement, specifically this one. I would put it in my oats or I would make protein pancakes. It's just a super easy and effective way to get protein in. Might not be the healthiest, but it gets the job done. I also ate a lot of chicken. I'd make chicken and rice or chicken Caesar salads. You can't go wrong with chicken. <laughs> You can make any meal as fancy or as boring as you want with chicken. I also used protein bars to my advantage when I wanted something sweet. Specifically the Grenade Salted Caramel. Grenade, please sponsor me. These are super convenient, especially if you're a student like me. And they taste amazing. Next on the list is tuna. I'd make tuna sandwiches, or I would literally eat it straight out of the bowl with some mayo. So good, so convenient, high in protein. And lastly, Greek yogurt. Super high in protein and super good, especially with some granola and honey. Hope that helps. Make sure to like and follow. If you are a beginner, don't worry about being stressed in the gym, like what do I even do? I'm going to run you through a whole workout, including the warm-up and a full lower body session for my beginner girlies. So we're going to start with a warm-up and we're going to go on the Stairmaster. You can choose a treadmill, you can do whatever cardio equipment you want just to get warm. So we're just going to hit quick start. This machine's super intimidating, but it's so fun. And we're just going to go up to like level five or six. So it's like a nice steady pace. We're just going to do this for like one to two minutes, literally, so we get warm. And then just a quick little warm-up drill. So we're just going to do some body weight squats because our first exercise is going to be squats. So we're just going to have our feet a little bit outside, hip width apart, toes pointed out, and just a nice controlled tempo. Just do about 12, get those muscles working. Then we're going to get into world's greatest stretch. So we're on the ground in a lunge position. Opposite hand to the bent leg is going to support us. And then we just rotate up and down. We're going to do about five on each side. To start our first exercise, depending on how much of a beginner you are, you might use weight, you might not, but we're going to do a dumbbell goblet squat. What level you are, you might just want to grab a 10 kilo, you might grab a five, whatever's easiest for you. We're going to hold the weight to our chest. That's going to help us with balancing and we're just coming down, pushing those knees out. And we're going to do three sets by 12 reps. Next we have our dumbbell glute bridge. So you're probably going to be able to lift a bit heavier in this one. Again, you can either go body weight. I've got seven and a half kilos here, but you can go heavier. I'm going to lie back and we're going to push through our heels and push our bum up to the sky, nice and controlled. We're gonna do about 10 to 12 reps here for three sets. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes at the top, nice and controlled. Next we have our dumbbell split squat. You can either hold the dumbbell in a goblet position, which is against your chest, or you can have two, holding them either side. Just take a standard step out, Make sure you're centered more so over your front foot than your back or the middle. And we're just going down and up, nice and controlled. This is working our quads. So remember the front foot is the working foot. That's the muscle that we're working, the working leg, not foot. I mean, the foot's working, but you know. We're gonna do about three sets by 12 to 15 reps each leg here. Swap legs. We've got our dumbbell RDL, Romanian deadlift. So we're going to get in about hip width apart stance. We're going to lock our shoulders down and we're just gonna push our hips back, keeping our spine neutral, slight bend in our legs, coming down and then driving our glutes back up. But we're not gonna squeeze at the top or pull our hips through. So just make sure the reps are slow and controlled. Down and up, pushing your hips back. Just remember hips back, hips back, hips back. Drive through, hips back, hips back, hips back drive through. You stop at the bottom at the point where you can't push your hips back anymore. So I'm not going to keep going down and using my back to lower. I'm going to do three sets by eight to ten reps here. For our last exercise we have a lying leg curl. All the machines are going to look really different but basically similar principles. So we want to get in and make sure the pad that we're lying on just sits above our knee and then we want the other pad that we're going to be pushing up sitting above our heel. We don't want it too far down, sort of just on our calf there. So you may need to adjust it so that it fits the position for you. 
So that's good for me. So this is how you change the weight in the machine. In here, just pull that out, put that into something light, like a 10 or whatever the lightest is. I'm gonna put it on 20 and then that's good to go. And we're just going to bring our heels to our bum. Make sure you're driving your hips down into the pad so that your bum's not coming up because we're working our hamstrings here. And this is gonna be three sets by 12 to 15 reps. really intimidating to train in the gym especially if you're new but I'm really proud of you and I hope this workout helped and just know that it's just going to get easier every single time you go if you guys have any questions just leave a comment all right here are some of the best pre-workouts for beginners but first I just want to start off by saying don't dry scoop your pre-workout I know you've probably seen your favorite influencer do it I used to do it too but now I know better so don't do it pre-workout is meant to be taken with water so please do that also, another thing, you usually take your pre-workout before your workout, 20 to 40 minutes before. It increases three main things, your focus, endurance, and energy. So it's something to elevate your performance, but not necessarily essential for muscle building or fat loss or whatsoever. So this is the first pre-workout I've ever taken. It's from Women's Best. It only has 100 milligrams of caffeine. So I don't usually drink coffee. Um, I'm not used to caffeine in general, but this was pretty good. I actually had to take a scoop and a half in order to feel like the effect but this one was really good sour peach favorite this one i've been dying to try i've heard so many good things about it pink lemonade seems to be everyone's favorite this one's from beam and it has 125 milligrams of caffeine this one is the one my brother bought and i've tried it as well and this one's amazing for beginners it's also budget friendly and you can definitely find it in your local supplement store again pink lemonade i think it's a family thing we love everything that's like sour but this one is the one i usually recommend to people uh, because it's budget friendly and it's only 150 grams milligrams of caffeine all right now i've never tried alani news pre-workout but apparently they have the best flavors so it's definitely on my list this one has 200 milligrams of caffeine if you're new to pre-workout, there are some side effects you might want to take into account. So first of all, you get very jittery. It depends on your caffeine tolerance though. And second of all, I'm just going to come out and say it. You might have to stop by the bathroom before going to the gym. All right, now let me know which one you're trying out. You discovered the craziest glute burnout. Isolated single leg RDL. 12 reps each leg. Super set with sumo deadlift to squat. 10 reps. Repeat for buy. Follow for more. Oh.